All right, Jake, thanks so much. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine confirms to us he does not have COVID-19. Doctors needed three tests just to be sure. And as WCPO 9 News reporter Larry Seward reports, experts say there is a message there you shouldn't miss. There are two types of tests. Both involve swabs, one more sensitive than the other and is the only way to confirm cases in the state of Ohio. Science uses two names, molecular and antigen. Laymen know the latter as rapid testing, results in minutes. It's also the kind of swab first used on Ohio Governor Mike DeWine yesterday that triggered whiplash reaction. Yesterday was uh, a kind of a crazy day. It was a uh, kind of a roller coaster uh, day, as I indicated last night, that I had tested positive. Uh, so that was a big a big surprise. So I came back uh, and got a test. We came back here to Cedarville and just waited. A friend uh, fixed me uh, some uh, uh, chicken and rice soup. I think she thought we were going to were settled in for the long haul here. Then got the good results last night um, that the test from Ohio State had come back as negative. DeWine's second and third tests were both molecular, often called PCR. They're more sensitive, demand at least a day for results, but are the only tool Ohio health officials use to confirm coronavirus cases. A lot of the testing that's currently happening down here in Southwest Ohio is that PCR test. Tiffany Mattingly coordinates coronavirus response for Southwest Ohio and says rapid tests are mostly reserved for screening in clinics, and the difference has more to do with labs than collection. Rapid tests scan samples for COVID-19 proteins, while PCR looks at virus genetics. It just kind of blows it up and, and you can see it. Um, and, and that's a more of a confirmatory response and identification of the protein. The National Guard right now, when they're down doing testing at those pop-up sites around the community, those are PCR tests. Confident in their accuracy, health officials see no reason to blow off testing or mask rules. We know that the mask protects others from what we may have and not know. Governor DeWine's false positive test canceled a meeting planned with President Trump, who later called with results to DeWine's second test and well wishes. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.